Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Let's start the episode 183 of Ask Vidas and Osha podcast. Today is a beautiful Wednesday, right, Osha? Yes. Uh, do you feel that spring is coming in Vilnius? To Vilnius? Well, now yes, but from tomorrow I think the winter will join us again. Uh, do you? Are you fed up with winter? Yes, <laughs> yes. Me too. I somehow long for more green uh, colors. Yeah, yes, and no. That snow is getting awful. So, guys, I hope um, uh, you you have enough green in your part of the world right now. Um, and, um, and that you feel the spring returning. Of course, if uh, if you are in uh, in Australia, for example, then there is, uh, or in the summer hemisphere somewhere, then it's it's autumn, right? Yes. After summer, and uh, temperatures might be dropping a little bit too. This should be nice, I think. Too. Okay, so let's talk a little bit, Osha. Uh, about organ playing <clears throat> now today we're going to go to our church to practice uh, for the first time actually together uh, our program for jazz Bach's 333rd birthday uh, recital which will be in what in in less than two weeks from now we're recording this uh, a little bit earlier than you are probably hearing this, uh, and and of course um, we'll be playing organ duets, right? That I have transcribed, uh, or sometimes we're using the original score. By the way, do you like playing from original score, Osha? The aria. Well, it's okay. Although I have to play from soprano clef. Uh, I have to play from two bass clefs. Um, and you have to play from soprano and the treble clef, right? Yes. Which C clef is your favorite? Now it's soprano because I'm playing from it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, soprano is kind of nice. But otherwise alto is okay too. You mean where C is in the middle? Yes. Not too bad, I think. Yeah. Not too bad. Was it always the case for you? Actually, alto was my favorite at first, but now it's soprano. Is it because you play more on the soprano clef? Well, I think it's easier for me to transpose a third than a second. That's funny, but that is how it is. What about uh, perfect fourth? Can Do you like those clefs which let you transpose a perfect fourth? No, I don't like those. So... It's harder than... If you transpose from the uh, treble clef, that would mean G, right, on the second line, would have to become C, right? Yes. And this would be what? Mezzo-soprano clef. Yes. Do you like it? Not too much. Why? Because it's it's um, far away from, from the original. Yes, that's true. Mm-hmm. It's very old clef. I don't. I don't think it's used often enough to, to today. I don't think so either. I think two clefs are used nowadays. Uh, that's uh, alto clef and and uh, tenor clef. Tenor clef, right? Uh, so villain cello is playing from the treble clef, uh, from the tenor clef sometimes. Trombone, I think. Basson too, I think. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. In the upper range. And who plays uh, from the alto clef then? Viola. 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 Is that all? Probably not, but but that's the instrument I know the best that plays from. And of course, alto singers, clef. right? Alto. Of course. If yes. they sing from original scores. So, but singers use all those C clefs, you know, if they use the old scores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even Mozart's Requiem is, you know, 
original is written in the C class. It's a good except, exercise. Except bass, of course. Bass is, I think, in a bass clef. But other free voices, other free parts are written in the C clef. Uh, yeah, bass has its own clef. Yes. F clef. And uh, Osha, from your um, solo compositions that you're playing, uh, you're playing remind us BWV 552, right? Yes. E flat major, yes. prelude and few. What is the most uh, frustrating far- part for you? <laughs> or everything? Or, or not I like so much? this piece so much, although sometimes I get frustrated by the length of the prelude. Sometimes I write in the middle, I just feel, you know, that, wow, <laughs> there is still so much music to go. Do you lose your concentration? Sometimes, yes. What do you do then? Regain your concentration? Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. And what helps you to regain your concentration? Just think about music, what I'm playing right now. Because sometimes my mind just travels somewhere. To warm places? <laughs> not, nece- spring is? not necessarily, but some, some, somewhere else. To the Caribbean. Well, no. Caribbean beaches where you can uh, sit and drink margaritas. I never was there. That's why you dream, uh, dream about it. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, uh, then, uh, for me, do you know what I'm playing? Yes, I know what you're playing. Tell us. Pasakalia. Okay, what else? And three choral pieces from the Klavir Übung, part three. So, actually, that's what we are doing. I'm playing Prelude and Fugue, and then with us is playing three chorals, the Kyria, Christa, and Kyria. And uh, guess what is the most challenging for me? What, which piece? Or a few pieces. I think the all three of them are quite challenging. Mm-hmm. But the third Kiri is my favorite, the third chorale. Especially the end of it, it's so chromatic. I love it. Do you feel, Osha, that uh, the more you play this E flat major period and fugue, the more relaxed you are and uh, the more you can enjoy it? Yes, of course, but I don't know how it will be during actual performance, because when I played it a year ago, well, it was well a nightmare. I don't remember actually how I did it during performance. You said that it went well, but I just can't remember it. I was so scared that, you know, <laughs> my mind just shut down. So when you say that you, you sort of panic, but it didn't... It didn't um seem too obvious but N- nobody but reacted. actually I played it on my autopilot mm, so you almost memorized it then well I don't know don't ask me I don't remember how I did it we could we could consult the recording <laughs> yes but actually that was because I haven't played that piece before the last recital for what like 10 years and that's a you know long break for any piece, especially so grand as this one. But now because you know I played it last year, so I don't worry about this year so much. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because if I could play it last year, so now definitely I would be able to play it this year. That's 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 what I mean. The more you play, the more you can enjoy it. Yes. And for me, uh, I have. I don't remember I, I have ever played in public those three Kyria, Krista Kyria That's a new chorals. piece for you. Yeah, and I'm not feeling too relaxed with them. I have to work, you know. But, you know, since I played the entire Klavir Ugung way back, you know, for my last degree recital at Lincoln, so I think these three Kyria, Krista Kyria, we are I wouldn't say that the easiest of the entire Klavirubung because each piece is challenging in its own way, but 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 sort of I felt quite secure while playing these three mm-hmm. particular chorales. 
because there are some much trickier ones. Mm-hmm. As for example, align God versus you no know, trio texture. Mm-hmm. That's what I, I will, I'll be playing next. I know, and 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 for example, Father Unzer. Mm-hmm. Those are more challenging, I think, than these three. Kyrie, Christa, Kyrie. Yeah. Because you know, tempo is not so fast in them, and you could feel quite secure while playing them. Bach was a master of writing uh, advanced music and although it sounds simple right but it isn't in reality it's quite complex polyphonically rhythmically metrically and also organistically right excellent what about the Pasakali? do you think that uh, I'll be able to play it better than last time Now, remind me, when was the last time when you played it? (laughs) I don't remember. (laughs) I don't remember either, so... Uh, I might have played it from the 18th century score. (laughs) That that was a very foolish idea of mine. So now I'll be playing just from the regular score. I think you will be fine. Will you help me playing if if I panic? <laughs> I can sing. Which was? Bass. Bass. Uh, that's my part. I'm just making a fun. You know. You know. Out of you. Sometimes I I sing together with you the duet, uh, the the duetto part in our arias. And I hate it. Why? My voice is like a nightingale. <laughs> wow. If not nightingales, then, then which bird you would compare it to me? You know that black one. So you like crows? I'm just pretending that I don't. So so you say that my voice is like a nightingale then? Maybe like a cuckoo's. Cuckoo's. Oh, so I can sink minor third downwards. Well, cuckoo's not only can sink this interval. Sometimes it's major. Major third. Third. And sometimes actually it's a uh, augmented fourth. And what uh, bird's voice remind you when you sing? I don't know. I don't have. I don't have a nice voice. Today, when we're going to to play in church, I'll try to encourage you to sing, and we'll find out which bird bird you are. Okay. I think if we both try to sing, we will be kicked out from the church. But then, and we will scare tourists. But then we we tell all about uh, that uh, in the next podcast conversation, right? Yes, of course we are making jokes because when we work the church, you know, we often sing uh, psalms too, so our voices not are not so bad. Don't spoil everything. Don't. Um... <laughs> Reveal the punchline. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, guys. This was with us. And Osha. Please send us more of your questions because we love helping you grow. Uh, and remember, when you practice, miracles happen. <laughs>